Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the knife gold very quickly in Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to show you the fast way of leveling it up, I'm going to show you the best way to get the camos done and also I'm going to show you the best class app to run so it's a lot easier to get the kills with. Quickly before we do get into today's video, if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications to miss any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy it, smash the thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. But no more messing about, let's jump into it right now. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I do have my knife gold. I got it gold last night, which was a big, big W. Um, it didn't take me that long, to be fair. It took me about two hours to get it done. Uh, for, the, for the knife challenges, it's very simple. All you need to do is level the knife up to level 11, which isn't too bad. It took me about an hour and a half to level it up to level 11. Um, I didn't use a double XP token for it. So if you went and put a double weapon XP token on, you'll be used very, very quickly. The first camo you are going to need to do when you do get to level 11, guys, is going to be to get 50 kills with the combat knife. Very, very simple to do. It might take some people a lot longer than it takes other people. I was getting about 25 to 30 kills every single game with the knife. For some reason, I'm weirdly good with a knife. I don't really know why. Um, I'll put some gameplay and some clips up on screen at some points as well so you guys can sort of see what I'm doing in game. And then for the gold camo, you need to get two kills without dying 10 times with the combat knife. This one is a little bit more tricky, uh, especially if you guys aren't as good with a knife. What I highly recommend doing is making use of stun grenades, personal radar field upgrades, and then obviously your perks, which I'm going to show you in a moment, are going to make a big difference as well. And really just hold down one area. Sit in a building, get your personal radar on the floor, and let people start running towards you. Get one kill, slightly move position to another area in that same building, let someone else run in and go and get the kill as well. Don't go chasing kills, don't go running into gunfights that you know you're not going to win, don't go into open spaces because you're just going to get picked off so, so easily. Don't try and run at someone who's already ads at you because the chances are they've got a gun. They're going to kill you. It's a very unlikely circumstance that you go and get that kill. It will happen from time to time, but it's very unlikely. So the class that I was actually running, guys, as you may have seen, I'm running the riot shield on my back, so it's a lot harder for people to kill me from behind. The amount of times this saved me is absolutely insane, so I cannot recommend you doing this more than anything because it just saves you in so many situations. You're not going to get shot from behind as much, allowing you to get in and out of buildings way, way easier. I go with a stun grenades because, obviously, then I can stun my enemies. It's really going to slow them down. If they're running away from me and I'm trying to chase after them, but we're running at the same speed, throw a stun. It's going to slow them down. You can take them out of the game very quickly because you're going to get out behind them. Lethal doesn't really make a difference i just went with semtexes you can run whichever you want you can run proximity mines if you're trying to hold down a certain area but the one thing i will say you want to try and get the kills with a knife not with the proximity mine so that's why i just ran semtex didn't really use them so for my perk package i actually ran the phantom package because it's got battle hardened i mean you don't get stunned as much you don't get um emp as much gassed as much uh flash grenade as much any of that you got double time and you can tax sprint for longer you got cold blooded so you don't pop up on thermals or any of the score streaks or stuff like that and then you've got ghost as well so you, the uav's portable raid does heartbeat sensors and stuff like that don't pick you up so overall for using the knife this is the best perk package in my opinion because it takes you off enemy radars their streaks can't see you your stuns don't affect you if you throw a stun at someone you've got double time and you can run for longer it's just the best perk package that i would set up even if the phantom one wasn't set up i'd probably still set up my perks just like this and like i said for my field upgrades i was running battle rage and i was actually running the uh portable radar because i was sitting in buildings letting people come in and i knew exactly where they were okay guys so in the background is just the final game that i actually played on live stream to get the knife gold um you can see all i need to do was get my two kills in one life 10 times um i actually go and get eight kills which means i got two four six eight i got four of these done in one life i go on an eight kill streak here remember these do stack so if you get the two kills you actually haven't got to die to then reset it you can get two kills and get four kills and get six kills and get eight kills to actually make this work you can see my play style with a knife i'm not hanging about i'm not camping i'm not sitting in ratty corners i've got uavs up so i know where my enemies are i'm going in and trying to get in their buildings in their spawns and get behind people so they don't know that i'm there and get a couple of kills that way i find that this is the best way to play with a knife whereas i find if you just camp and you play very slowly it actually becomes a lot harder because you start putting a lot more pressure on yourself as you can see the gold camo there did just pop up on screen which is a fat w i did finally get it gold and yeah guys that is the easiest way to get the gold knife done it's the best class setup and stuff like that to get it done if you're struggling with anything else and you've got any more questions let me know in the comments below and i'll answer them as soon as possible for you guys if you did enjoy the video and it did help you out smash thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you on the next one in a bit. <laughs>